Well, another major impact that we're seeing all around us is, of course, with restaurants and bars. Some are switching to delivery or takeout only, while others are closing down entirely. One of the biggest local chains had to make a drastic move today. Fox Hope's Audrey Wheel is live in Forest Grove now, where McMinimins just laid off its entire workforce. Audrey? Yeah, that's right, Wayne. Nearly 3,000 employees were laid off. And tonight we spoke to one woman who's worked at several McMinimins locations, most recently at a manager right here at the Ironwork Grill. She says she'll now be relying on unemployment benefits for the next several weeks and that that is just simply not enough. For Veronica Matusami, there is no sugarcoating it. Right now I'm worried about paying my rent. I'm worried about my health insurance. I'm worried about my car payment. I'm worried about utility bills that I have to pay and unemployment is not going to cut it. The McMinimins Grand Lodge where she's worked as a manager has gone dark. So as the McMinimins Cedar Hills where her son worked as a dishwasher. The whole reason why I got a job was to like have my own money. These are two employees of the nearly 3000 person workforce McMinimins laid off while they temporarily close all but one of their Oregon and Washington locations for the next several weeks. The lone spot with open doors and customers is the bottle shop on Northwest 23rd with drinks to go. We all wanna be safe and we all wanna be healthy. I don't wanna see people die. Um, I don't want people to be sick, but it's also, we all have to make a living and the people that are most affected right now Truly, the people that are most affected are people who work in service industry. Matusami already filed for unemployment. She says she'll be making less than half of her usual income and that the government needs to find a big way to help out everyone in her situation. There are plenty of bailouts for the upper companies, car companies, airlines, financial districts, banks, um, Wall Street. Why are there not bailouts for the working people? We don't have millions of dollars in stocks and bonds and, you know, indie companies. We're working folks and we have to pay our bills as well. Oregon Governor Kate Brown has created a Coronavirus Economic Advisory Council. They actually met for the first time today, and their job is to come up with some relief for businesses and support for workers. We will let you know as soon as they come up with a plan. Live in Forest Grove, Audrey Wheel, Fox 12 Oregon.